So as soon as I came in, it was a cart rolling by me and it was a quick sprint because everybody was going towards the cart. Um, I did grab a few things out of it. I got a Cole Haan purse. Um, I did get a pair of uh, these sketchers. I'm not sure if I'm keeping or not, but I grabbed a few things out of the cart just, just because, you know, it had to be quick. So I did grab some dance goes. Um, the purses here are $7.99. The shoes, if they haven't been marked up, are also $7.99. Um, I got a couple of odd things. Like this this makeup bag is super nice. It's got tags on it. It's from uh, Firenze, which is Florence, Italy. Um, I did grab these um, Adidas. I have sold Adidas before. Um, I had sold a pair of Mark McNary's, which was like a custom special one. So um, I, I grabbed that. You know, I'm, I have to look. I don't buy a lot of Adidas, but I know there's some collaborations that are pretty good um i think these are kind of like the, one of the nicest finds this was a coach pair of men's shoes they're very nice looking of course you know i haven't checked for damage at all so um i will have to do that but you know 7.99 they're they're not marked up i did grab a pair of these joy um boots um, i don't think the resale on them is great but the condition is like really nice so i did put the take those um, also in the, in the cart, like I said, one cart rolled out and it was, it, I could see from the sides, the purses hang off the side. So I did grab this little Kate Spade, um, $7.99. I haven't checked for damage. I found one of the Jack Rogers shoes, but I don't think I'm going to get that. They did mark it to $12 and that's more than I would like to spend. So, um, I'm not going to get the Jack Rogers, but you know, up until then I couldn't really see what I had. Um, so there's also some other stuff that um, I grabbed. I grabbed this blue leather purse, but I'm not sure if it's something I'm gonna keep or put back. Um, I also grabbed, also grabbed this. It's made by Lavanger. It's it's kind of a neat like a type of a tote type of thing. Um, and then I did grab this big backpack. It's made by Gaming Series. It's I guess you could put a whole system in it. It's quite large. Um, I don't recognize or know anything about this. They have it marked at $15, but it seems like it's a good quality. So I am gonna keep that too. Um, it is very crowded back here right now. Like I said, as soon as the cart came out, um, everybody started moving. So I haven't gone through the aisles. Um, I will do my best to go through the store you know, hopefully there will be some areas that maybe won't be um, so crowded, but it's hard to say. So we'll just see as we go. All right. So we'll just keep on looking. And we'll, we'll walk the aisles and of course we'll check the purses. and. Um, this is what I was talking about. So like I literally got out of the way really quickly. And so I just threw a few things in and then I, and then I got out of the way. So normally I would let you guys see what I'm grabbing out of the cart, but it wouldn't have been fair to everybody else to just stand there and take my time. So I, I threw my stuff in and moved away. These Tommy Hilfiger's are really nice. Um, the outsides don't feel great. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're 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 not leather. Um, they're pretty, but they're they're not. Um, they're very lightweight. These are a pair of Sarah sandals. I don't think I've ever had a pair of Sarah. Um, you know, I do listen to all of your, you know, wisdom when you're telling me about things. So you know, if you see me pick something up and mention that you know a viewer a viewer said hey you should be looking for this you know i i do i do read your comments and i do try to respond and and all of that it's nice to hear people that have a different viewpoint especially if you're buying things that are different from the things you know that i normally buy um so you know so far i've seen and now see, these are Bach. These are a pair of um, clogs. They're really, really nice. Um, they did mark them up to $15. Um, the, the Bach shoes, they don't sell great for me. The Born ones, I usually do pretty good with. So for 15, I think I will put those back. 
and I will keep on moving towards the end. Like I said, it's I might have to turn around and go back the other way. These are a brand his Hispanlitas. I, I'm not sure if I said that correctly. Oh, where'd I find it? Okay. Um, I don't think that's something I want, but this caught my eye up here. What is this? Oh, okay. These are, oh, that looks like it's a Franco Sardo. Yeah, look, look at the the little, they got their little, little emblem on the side there. But um, let's see if we can get these back up here without knocking everything over, because you all know that, you know, I, I like to knock things over. And these are earth right here. These gray ones are earth. Um, I have not gone through all of these racks with the shoes and stuff like that. Like I said, I, I grabbed a handful of stuff really quick just to, you know, get out of the way. You know, because if I'm filming, I, I don't want everybody to be on camera. At least I try not to get everybody on camera. Sometimes, sometimes it happens, but most of the time, I try to try to be pretty incognito when I'm in here. So, um, these Piccolinos are downright adorable. Um, Piccolinos is a great brand. If you have uh, never. Um, bought a pair of their shoes or worn a pair of shoes. Great, great, great brand. Um, I don't know how great um, this exact style is. This is a 35, so that means, and I've bought these before, that means that's literally a, like a size four in Piccolinos. So that's gonna be very, very, very small. Um, these Vionics are cute, but I don't think those are gonna be worth $12. Um, I do buy a lot of Vionics, but usually, I kind of know like what styles I'm buying. Um, and I will go back over and look at the shoes in just a minute. Um, like I said, I I grabbed just a few things very quickly just, just so I could get in there. And then I, I moved out. I gotta do, I gotta check the end caps too. You know, you never know what you're gonna find. And here we are in the men's shoes. You know, once again, I do listen to um, your advice. And it's if it has a name on it, look it up. So I, I promise you, if I see a men's pair with a name on it, I, I will look it up. <clears throat> so far, no, not so much. I don't even know if I can get to the back of the store today. So here's one of the racks here. Let's see what we can, let's see if we can find anything in here. People, they've kind of moved away. So maybe we can look a little bit. Ooh, those are huge. What are those? Element. Those must be like a men's work boot. I saw a couple pairs of men's work boots. So they must, um, somebody must have dropped some off. Here's a real, here's a brand new pair of Chacos. I might have to put those in. They're tie dye. They're brand new. They did mark these. Okay. They, they marked them up at $15, but $15 for a brand new pair of Chacos may not be bad so just to let you know that for for that i will i will look that up and find like the little shoes little sportos i do see um lots of the vera bradley and stuff like that i will check the wallet wallets and the makeup bags now who makes this oh that's a tommy hill figure okay so um here's an example so I don't know if this duffel is old or if it's new, hard to say, but if you find the old Tommy Hilfiger, it does have value. So, um, you know, I'm gonna put that in and find out if that's new or old. You know, a duffel bag is super easy to put in the wash on gentle and just hang it out to, hang it out to dry. They usually clean up real nice. I've, I've been putting them in, I put them in like a garment bag and um you know i just clean them on delicate like you would your your bras or your lingerie and things like that and and they come they come out really nice i i've had several people comment how nice things have you know smell when they receive them now i love this i can't even tell you how much i love this here's another example of one that if it was a little bit dirty and it's got just a tiny little bit of dirt on the bottom it's actually pink I know you probably can't tell. I'm checking the inside. This is a large Kipling duffel. Wow. Look at the cute little thing. They, they do this on some of their bags. 
I think um, I think that would go with me. It's got a little spot on it or two on the bottom, but honestly, for this for being this light, it's not bad at all. So I definitely um, I, I definitely wouldn't want to. I don't think anybody'd want to return that if you if you priced it right. And I will I will you know like I said put it in a garment bag or laundry bag and you know put it in the wash and you know on a really gentle cycle and then just hanging out to dry it's happy chick jonathan apple okay well i have really found some interesting finds you know got to make sure you guys get a full video though because i feel like I, I found everything within the first five minutes um i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get to the back of the store today like i said obviously the music will not be an issue because it is so loud in here with all of these people in here that that's a little bit crazy secrets that i doubt that um i'll have any problems with um with um music in this video so that's good because you know i don't i don't want to have to voice over if i if i don't have to so i'm just gonna walk back up this aisle and I am going to try to take you guys to the back. I guess we'll we'll determine that as we get over here because they are packed in here and they're still bringing carts out. So I am, I was sorry, I was eyeballing, um, I was eyeballing some purses and I can see like Orvis jackets and all that and, and stuff um, for today, even though it's raining. So it's, it's warm in here because of all the people, I think, though. Sorry. So I did, I did you know, lately I've, I have been stopping. Oh, that's pretty. That's in a tall Eddie Bauer. That's really nice. I don't think I want to borrow the American Outdoorsman. Oh, another really nice one. Wow. Um, I, I really like this one. I, I don't know. I don't know if my, my husband is not usually one that likes these type of things, but this is, this is really nice. I have a feeling this is probably a really expensive one too. So, you know what, I'm going to stick it in my, in my cart. You know, <clears throat> if he likes it, then I will, I will keep it for him. And if he doesn't, then it can go to the eBay store. What are these? Oh, those are cute. Those are little UMG pants. U-M-G-E-E. -E. I do kind of love those. <laughs> I, I know they're kind of funny with the bottoms on it, but how cute would that be during the summer? Yeah, we might have to throw those in too. It's gonna be one of those days. I think, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep throwing stuff in today. Okay, so over here is the, the lamps and stuff like that. Um, oh, there is a cart right here. You can see a, ornament okay which one is this one i can hallmark how to how to train your dragon hmm, interesting i don't know if that's gonna be a great one but look at all those light bulbs but n none of them are leds so that means they're all gonna be really the hot ones and i try not to buy those anymore just because you, you, you grab them and then you burn your hands. So I'm gonna try to be careful with those. What are these? Coasters, okay. Sherwood coasters, interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if we can hit another. I don't know if there's any carts over here. You know, they still have their Christmas on the end. And I am glancing. Um, oh, here's a cart right up here. There's a nice young woman that works here that was out putting stuff, putting stuff on the shelves. <clears throat> so she must have been working over here. Now, well, I'm not catching anything. I'm glancing over my shoulder too to see. Oh, the, the toy section is really, really depleted. So. I don't know if they went through and got rid of stuff that had been sitting a while, but they don't usually do that here. So I was looking at the robe. I always look at that type of stuff because you never know. I mean, you can you can get really um, 
really, really high-end stuff here. You know, I'm always keeping my eye on Marketplace and, and those things. So, you know, I, I do tend to pick things up in a lot of different locations. Look at all these coats and jackets. Well, I mean, I, I do have a full cart. It's full. I'm not sure what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna leave behind. I'm just looking for a, um, a quiet place to kind of work. So these are, this must be all the business jackets. Yeah, all the business jackets. I don't think I've ever actually gone through the clothes here. Um, usually it, it would be, you know, I would be in and out of here. I try to, you know, do an hour, hour and a half, no more than an hour and a half because I want to go somewhere else. But, oh, look at that. That's a Madewell. I like the Madewell stuff. It's very cute, very comfortable. That's a size small. It's nice. I like it. But, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't do a ton of clothes. Once in a while. Once in a while, something speaks to me. And uh, I, I've yet to find my, my Lulu Mon in the wild. So that's something I, I, I always... You know, think, oh, one of these days I'm going to find a piece of, you know, Lulu Mon in the wild, but I've yet to do that. So, so yeah, I'm just going to keep on walking down the aisles and I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here, like with clothes. Like I, I know some brands, but you know, I, I would think that I wouldn't want things to be returned and I think with clothes you probably subject yourself more to that because people will buy it and, and you know it, it doesn't fit them and then they want to return it and yeah that's that's the hard part about um, you know reselling is you could put you could do everything you could to put the right information in and someone doesn't read it or doesn't look at the measurements and and then they, you know, they get it and they want to send it back, which is, you know, fine. That's, that's normal. But, you know, I'm, it's one person, you know, handling the returns and one person, you know, going and, and, you know, having to relist and repackage and, and all that. So it do, it's a little more work when it's just, you know, you're doing it on your own. Who makes this one? Members mug. Okay, so that would be like a Sam's Club. It is it is adorable. I love the colors. But I, I think I bought my fair share of comfortable jackets this year. In fact I think I think something just arrived today. I, I got another um, another package. I mean I'm a cold weather person. I, I struggle when it's super hot during the summer. I love cold weather. So You know, I am checking to make sure there's no um, designer brands here. Like, they marked. Okay, well, here's a good example. They marked this one to $20. And I have no, no idea. No, their outerwear is normally, no, okay, so their outerwear is no, normally $9.25. I wonder why they marked this one so high. There's no markings on it. I'm not seeing tags. <clears throat> I like the color though, it's a dark camel. In fact, it's to the point where I'm not even seeing a size on it. Is it reversible? Nope, nope, it's okay. So it zips on the inside, snaps on the outside. Interesting. So they must they must know something I don't because I don't see a single tag on this. No idea how, who makes it, how big it is, nothing. I like it though. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll look that up. Sometimes I think if they if they marked it up like that, they may know something I don't. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the Jones, New York. That is um, 
a, a sport. It's a suede with um, a fur lining. Very, very warm weather. I like it though. Oh, and here's a universal thread. So this is just like a little quilted one. This is this is the Target one, but I love I love the little quilted, but it, it does have a bunch of dirt on it. It's long, which is is nice. Then we got some Calvin Klein here. We got some loft. Oh, they do they did put out they do have some nice stuff in here. One of one of these days I'll. I'll actually come in and, and you know do a full full run of of the clothes instead of just like the shoes and person. But you know I did try to get down through the hard goods, but it was pretty crowded. So I think with that being said, I am going to go and do my recheck and see what I'm going to keep and see what I'm going to put back, and I will catch up with you all in a little while. See you soon. All right, so I want to do a quick recap of today's um, thrift haul. I found some really unique items, actually some some really good quality items. So that was kind of a, a fun day for me. I'm gonna start with this. I did get a pair of Adidas, um, the striped shoes. I've had a pair um, like that before um, and they sold really well. Um, I believe that it was a collaboration pair. Um, I'm not sure if these are a collaboration pair, but I know they've got some value. So I did grab those. I also got the Pandora. Um, this is like a... Um, this is like a jewelry type of thing, I guess you can, you know, for when you're traveling. It's really, really pretty. It's actually a really nice color, too. So, I grabbed that. I also got this men's toiletry bag. It's brand new with tags, um, uh, made in Italy. So, um, you know, kind of nice. I also got the, um, Lavanger. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it's, I think it's just more like a tote bag, but it's all leather, very nicely made. I did get a really large gaming backpack made by MSI. Um, I probably paid a little bit more than I probably wanted to for it, but when I started looking up the comp, the the comps, I realized it's a it's a it's it's a big one and um, it's one of the more expensive ones. So I did grab that. Um, I think I paid like fifteen dollars for it. Um, and it really wasn't something I knew a lot about. I could just tell that it was kind of like a nicely made piece. So I did grab that. I did get a pair of Ariat men's boots. Um, you know, those are always a pretty easy sale. Um, they actually look like they have very little wear on the bottoms. So I'll just clean them up and, you know, get them all nice and, and ready for photos. I did get a pair, and I've never actually found a pair of these, but I got a pair of Coach Men's uh, loafers, um, driving loafers. These are these are nice. They just need like a little polish, nothing big. I did get a purple Cole Haan purse. And, you know, once again, I did find a piece of Kipling. This is a big uh, pink Kipling um, duffel bag. So I did grab that too. I have one shoe here which I'm kind of hoping I find the other shoe because I grabbed these for myself. So these are a pair of Allegria's. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm all about the comfortable shoes in case you haven't figured it out. So I did grab that for myself, so I am gonna have to run down to the car because I really hope I didn't lose one of the shoes. Um, so my total spent at the Goodwill today um, for all of this was $76. I still can't believe I got all of this for $76. I was, even I'm a, I'm a little bit surprised, but yeah, that was a, that was a pretty good day at the Goodwill. Um, definitely some brand, brand names, um, and some new things that, you know, I, I, I've never picked up before. So that was, that's always good. Cause you know, I like to, I like to find things that are different too. Um, all in all, it was a very, real quick trip. I wasn't there very long, but you know, I, I did get some stuff and you know, as usual, I really appreciate all of you watching. I love your comments. Um, you know, I love hearing about brands that you like and, and all of that. And I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the, you know, older subscribers that have been watching all my videos. Um, my channel has really, really grown and that's exciting for me. So, you know, once again, thank you so much for uh, shopping with me and I will see you all soon. Bye.